Wood is a large component of Canadian homes. The frame of your house is most certainly wood and it is used in many finishes as well. Wood can be found in flooring, baseboards, crown molding, doorways, trims, cabinets and even the furniture of a home. As a homeowner, many of the activities you will perform in repairing or improving your home will involve wood. With wood, you can realize many of the most beautiful aspects of your home, but it can also turn against you. One day, you may discover that one of your creations has begun to warp or wear unexpectedly. It could even develop an ugly crack. Hopefully, with these helpful tips, your relationship with wood will be more positive. When I was a kid, I remember learning the star constellations and thinking how much smarter it made me feel knowing those invented names to star patterns in the sky. I think it's more the feeling of having a connection with the ancient world that was really the cause of feeling so much smarter. After all, it wasn't too hard to learn. I got the same feeling when I started to learn about woodworking. It's really a beautiful trade. I really like the smell of the wood when you cut it the texture and the feel of the wood in your hands, and the amazing realization when you've molded a block of wood into something with form and purpose. The most important characteristics of wood is its grain. A piece of cut lumber gets its stability from how the tree rings are angled in relation to the face of the board. Look at the end of the piece of the wood you are examining. If the rings of the original tree run anywhere from being parallel to the face to at about a 30 degree angle, this is called flat sawn lumber stock. It is the most common cut, but you have to be careful with this as changes in humidity will cause the wood to curve along those very same tree rings. The next kind of wood is called rift sawn. Now rift sawn lumber has rings that travel between 30 degrees and 60 degrees. And the last kind is quarter sawn lumber. Its rings are between 60 degrees and 90 degrees. These are the most stable pieces of lumber you can find. Remember, when you're cutting wood, you must always cut it with the grain. If you're staining wood, the inner rings will soak up more stain than the outer rings, and they'll look darker. A 2x4 will be a solid piece of wood, but you can buy wood in many other types of formats. There are pieces of lumber that are manufactured, such as particle board. Particle board is made from wood chips, dust, shavings, all pressed together with glue. It's the cheapest to produce and often particle board will have a wood veneer applied to the surface to make it look more like the wood we are used to seeing. A drawback with particle board is that if it gets wet, it will balloon outward. Another type is plywood. This is made from thin sheets of veneer pressed together. The grains of the different sheets are placed so that they run in separate directions to increase the strength. Plywood is resistant to shrinking, cracking, and warping, and is more flexible than solid wood. There's so many different variations for plywood that are used for different applications. Pressure treated wood can be used outdoors, and most people use it to build their decks and privacy fences, as it resists rotting as well as attacks from animals, insects, and fungi. You have to be careful when working with this type of treated wood that splinters do not get into your skin, as the process of treating the wood is very harsh and can cause irritation and serious harm. There are engineered plastics that take the form of wood, so you can use it to build your deck as well. It looks and feels like wood, yet it is totally plastic and obviously has the resilience and strength that you would expect from plastic. It comes in a variety of styles to suit your taste and the closer the plastic resembles wood, the more expensive it becomes. Here are just a few of the varieties of wood you can find. This is ash. Ash is used in furniture. It is light and of medium density. Beech is a heavy hard wood. It's used for stools and chairs. This is walnut. It's used for high-end cabinets and furniture. It's strong, hard, and very durable, and not very heavy either. Cherry is a fine-grained wood that's very strong. Hickory is one of the hardest and heaviest and strongest woods you can find in North America. 
Maple is a light colored and it's medium to hard wood. Oak is very hard and heavy. So this has been the briefest of introductions to wood. I just hope it's given you some excitement so that you investigate more into what wood can do for you.